Today is Food of Thought comes from the 16th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verses 18 and 19, which reads, And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In this passage of scripture, Jesus asked the disciples who did they believe he was? Peter, in response, said that Jesus was the Christ. He was the son of the living God. Now, this was an answer that Jesus said that Peter received from the father and had confessed with his heart. Because he had received this word and, and because he had believed, Jesus, he said to Peter that, that Peter had received the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now, what are the keys of the kingdom of heaven? And is Peter the only one that could receive those keys? To answer that question, Peter, he is not the only one that could receive the keys of the kingdom of heaven. In fact, Peter isn't the only one who Christ desires to build his church upon. The keys to the kingdom of heaven is the word of God, which Christ, if you recall, shared the word with the world. So you and I, we have the ability to, to take possession of those keys. When you attain the word of God and when you live by his word, Jesus promises that the gates of hell will not prevail against you as you yourself, you have received the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Now, something that we fail to realize is the great responsibility that we carry, considering that we are now holders of the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now, what do you think that you should do with your keys? Do you ever invite others to the kingdom of heaven with your keys? If not, I want you to know that you should. God wants you to use those keys as often as you can. The Lord does not care how often you invite others to, to come into the kingdom of heaven. That is the reason why he gave you those keys in the first place. So I encourage you today use those keys you and i we have such an awesome possession that we have and we should be proud holders of the keys to the kingdom of heaven and we should share we should invite others to come into the kingdom of heaven as often as we can